Welcome back to chapter 12. In this lesson, we're going to talk about histograms in the info panel to verify what we see in our photos. So go ahead and select the histogram bright and shift click the histogram no contrast. Then press control I, which is a quick way of opening it up in the editor. This will open up the photos. I'm going to go ahead and close my tab grouped here. Okay, and then I'm going to go to window. And I'm going to look at the histogram here which is going to put it over here so I reset the panels. If you don't like your histogram panel here, just go ahead and click on the histogram name and drag it to where you'd like to see it. And if you notice I had this little warning and I had these little double arrows, just that means click on the, the double arrow here or the circle of arrows to get you the most complete up-to-date view. And this is a histogram. What is a histogram? Well, Photoshop Elements uses this histogram to show how colors and tones are distributed in your image. Okay. And as you can see from this histogram, which I can choose colors, or I can choose RGB, or I can choose individual or luminosity. Okay, This tells me that this is highlights, this is the middle, and this is shadows. So this is telling me I'm missing data from shadows a lot, and I'm missing some data from the highlights. And most of my data is concentrated within this area. And as you can see here, in this photo, I have no highlights, no shadows, and no contrast. Okay, so let's click on another photo. Click on the histogram bright. Let me refresh it. Now this is an interesting photo because this tells me I have a good distribution of data, but I'm missing some highlights still, but not much. And I do have some shadow details. So I, I mean, I do have some shadows, so I have to be careful there. Okay, and I click on the log or tree. Okay, let me move this over here so you can see better. Let me refresh it. Now this is interesting. This shows me that I have a lot of deep or a lot of um, data in the shadow area. Okay, I have a little bit in the highlights, but I have this little black line that that spikes up to the top here. When you see that, that means you're clipping something, and that's probably going to be the highlights over here in the windows. Okay. Now let's look at the picture of the flower here. I refresh it. Now it's showing here. I'm missing some highlight detail. But I have a lot of shadow detail. Is this histogram wrong? Well, maybe this photo is done artistically. So yes, maybe I can increase the highlight right here. But to be honest, the shadow is what this person wanted. So it's actually this histogram would be okay. So you always have to look at a photo. Do I need to correct it, or is it artistically done? You know, you have to approach it from. You have to look at the photo from the view. So let's look at something else here. Let's go to window, and now let's pull up another panel called the info. Now you can use these panels because we're in the full edit mode. If you're in a guided section, you can't use the histogram, just so you know. So let me drag out the info again. Let me move this over a little bit more. Oops, excuse me. I hate when it happens. Okay, now let's go back and click on that no contrast photo. And let's verify some things. So when you have the info panel open, I usually click on the eyedropper. And I usually have a sample size of 3 by 3 never point sample. Never point sample. And I just usually hover over the image and see what I'm looking at. And I noticed here it says 158, 156, 159 over here in the RGB, red, green, blue. And I can see it's pretty neutralized in this guy. There's no contrast. Okay. I can see that this was probably maybe white, but it's but again, it looks like it's neutralized. Okay, I can see that these are pretty close together. So if I'm seeing a lot of things close together, and then I go over here and I'll click on colors. And I notice that my colors are pretty much close together. I'm probably not looking at a color cast. I'm probably looking at a simple correction and I'm just going to move in my shadow and highlights and fix this image. And uh, we'll, we'll see in the next lesson, or ne next tutorial. Okay, so let me click on the uh, on this photo here. And I'll look in this guy here. It's at 219, 221, 219. Okay. 172. So this is pretty much it's neutralized, but I can tell that this looks good. So when you start looking at a lot of your, your photo and you see a lot, you know, that your whites, your shadows and your middles are, are neutralized and you look at your colors, you can pretty much see that it's 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 not a color cast, it's more of a I need to bring in some highlights or shadows. See look at that. Even oh, even the bark on the tree is pretty much close. <laughs> okay. Let me go to the log here or the tree. Let me move this down a little bit more. Okay. Now you can see in this wall, I know this wall was gray, 
but in my info panel it's telling me that my red is 110, my green is 96 and 83, so I'm seeing some whack here, some, some adjustments going to be needed. Yeah, his vest is black, of course. I can see here, maybe I need to bring out some more detail. Um, usually your shadow detail is going to be up in uh, 12, not 0. Or you want to bring up the bottom part to about 12. You want to bring up your highlight part to about 242, which is good for printing. And you can see here, look at that window. Remember I was talking about that window? It's blown out. Look at that, 255, 255, 255. That's blown out. And because that's blown out, that's how come I see this spike over here in the histogram. Okay. Now let's look at this one. See, it's zero, but it should be zero because that's how the artist wanted it to be. Okay, so in the next lesson, we're going to correct some photos using the levels.